So, NVIDIA and AMD are going head-to-head -head right now, battling it out to drop the ultimate GPU. And with Grand Theft Auto 6 on the horizon, I know what you're wondering. Who's going to give you the edge? About a month ago, AMD came out swinging with their latest card, the 9070 XT. But this isn't just about price tags or spec sheets. We're going deep into real-world performance, features, and value. I personally use an NVIDIA RTX 4060, and it's been excellent for my daily tasks. When I'm editing video, it cuts down export times dramatically, and I can stack effects without worrying about lag. For gaming, it runs Tekken 8 buttery smooth with zero frame drops. But back to the cards in question. First up, NVIDIA's RTX 5090. Built on their new Blackwell architecture, it reportedly packs over 21,000 CUDA cores, 32 gigs of next-generation GDDR7 memory, and a massive 512-bit memory bus. It's built for ultra-high resolution gaming, advanced AI processing, and pro-level creative work. But here's the catch. It's going to cost around $2,000. That's a serious investment. Now let's talk AMD. The RX 97 XT is built on their new RDNA 4 architecture. It's got roughly 12,000 stream processors, 16 gigs of GDDR 6X memory, and a 256-bit memory bus. It's clearly built to hit that sweet spot. Strong performance without the brutal price tag. It'll probably go for around 800 bucks, which puts it in a whole different league when it comes to value. So how do these two cards perform? The RTX 5090 pulls no punches. It's a total powerhouse. In real-world tests, it's showing big gains over the 4090, running games about 30% faster. And at 8K with ray tracing turned all the way up, it's still holding a smooth 60 frames per second in heavy hitters like Cyberpunk. Add DLSS 4 to the mix, and everything just looks clean and runs buttery smooth. AMD's ray tracing has made huge progress, though it still lags slightly behind NVIDIA's in the most graphically intense scenes. Still, for both 1440p and 4K gaming, this card absolutely holds its own. Let's move to features. NVIDIA comes loaded. DLSS 4 gives you cleanup scaling and frame generation. The ray tracing cores create realistic lighting and reflections. It's also a top performer in creative workflows like video editing and AI tasks, but it's a power-hungry card. You'll likely need a 1,000-watt power supply and strong cooling to keep it stable. On the other hand, AMD's RX 97 XT runs cooler and more efficiently. A 750-watt PSU will do the trick. It supports FSR 3.1, which is open source and works across more platforms, including consoles. And for content creators, it includes hardware-accelerated AV1 encoding, which is a big win for streaming and video production. Now for value. This is where things get interesting. At two grand, the RTX 5090 is impressive but out of reach for most gamers. Unless you're doing heavy creative work or have money to burn, it's probably overkill. AMD's RX 97 XT, priced at $800, delivers around 90% of the gaming performance in many titles. That's a huge deal. Yes, 16 gigs of VRAM might start feeling tight in the future, and ray tracing still isn't on par with NVIDIA's. But for the price? It's hard to beat, so which one actually makes sense for you? If you're chasing maxed out performance, gaming at 4K or even 8K, and you're doing creative work or just want the best of the best, the RTX 5090 is your move. It's powerful, future-proof, and built for anything you throw at it. But if you're like most gamers, myself included, the RX 97 XT is the smarter pick. It delivers close to top-tier performance without emptying your wallet. It's perfect for 1440p and 4K, and you're getting serious value without compromise. So there it is. Two flagship GPUs. One is the undisputed king of power. The other? A serious value champ. Which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments, and if you found this breakdown helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more deep dives into tech. I'll catch you in the next one.